quick message here. So this could be for you. If you're dealing with a stalker, this could also be for your person. Maybe you're in a third party situation and this is just a quick update to what they're dealing with right now. Um, but I got a strong message that someone needs to block their location, like on their iPhone. Someone's trying to track, like this would be, this would be someone that had access to your phone. So I feel like this would probably be someone that you were in the same room with. Um, at some point, like they might have a tracker on your phone. They might have, um, I know with iPhones, there's like a track your iPhone app or something of that sort. Um, so please be mindful of that. Cause for some of you, if you have a stalker, they are trying to find their lo your location right now. Um, a lot of them can't, but I mean, it's still good to take precautions. Like intuitively, if you feel led to do something, then go ahead and, to, and do it, you know? Like, if you feel drawn to take your information off social media or take your information off, like, uh, public background sites or, you know, turn off your location on your phone or turn off find my iPhone, you know, do it. You know what I mean? Like, you're protected. The divine is protecting you, but you still need to use your intuition and be logical and be safe because these karmics are psychotic. You know, whether it's you dealing with the karmic or whether it's your, your true love is dealing with the karmic, whatever the situation is, they're psychotic and a lot of them are hell-bent on finding um, your person, tracking them, figuring out where they are. So you need to be really mindful of that. Um, and I want to I wanted give you a message here too. You are in the final stages of this battle, so you need to stay strong and keep doing what you're doing. Like if you've cut this person out, like you've done the cut and clear spell, you've blocked them. I'm going to go into the cards in a minute. But you've done the cut and clear spell, you've blocked them on social media, you blocked their phone number, you know, stay strong, keep doing what you're doing, keep focusing on yourself, you know, come what may, let them do what they want to do, let them spread rumors, let them spread lies, let them go tell your family this and that, you know, let them do it. Nothing is worth going back to someone that's this psychotic, because I'm getting that this person's physically abusive, or like, if they weren't physically abusive with you before, they would be this time around. They would, like, if you went back to this person, your life would be hell on earth. Like, they would make sure you never left again. Like, they would, like, it's, like, almost like they would have, like, a dungeon for you or something in their basement. It's fucking scary energy. Like, do, don't, don't. Some of them literally want to lock you up. Like, it's, it's, it's nothing to play with. You know what I mean? Like, these karmics, like I've said, they're not powerful. They're just psychotic. So, when you're dealing, you know what I mean? It's like you're dealing with a child. You're dealing with a little girl that's, or a little boy that's completely psychotic. But, but they're, I mean, they're not powerful. Like they have no spiritual power. They don't have spirit guides protecting them. They don't have guidance. They don't, you know what I mean? But they're just mentally unstable. So you do need to still be mindful and protect yourself. You know what I mean? Um, my, my Zodiac videos will be up later today too. Should be around 4 p.m. Pacific, Pacific Standard Time. But, um, and as always, if this is your story, just send me an email. My email is below in the description box. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. But, um, but yeah, anyway, what I was saying is, is, yeah, so they don't have any power, but I mean, they are psychotic. So it's like, you do need to take the steps to protect yourself. You do need to, you know, change your locks. If this is like an, someone that was abusive with you, that lived with you, you know, you need to change your locks. You need to... You need to do what spirit is guiding you to do to protect yourself. You know what I mean? Don't ignore it and sweep it under the rug. Don't don't tell yourself, oh, I bet she would never be that psychotic. Like, no, if you feel an intuitive nudge to do something, like if you need to protect your assets, your finances, your mental health, like physically protect yourself, like do it. Like if you're feeling drawn to buy a knife or pepper spray or, um, you know, like I said, take your information off social media, social websites, whatever it might be. Like, do all the things you're led to do. Don't downplay it. Don't sweep it under the rug and say, oh, I bet, I bet they're not that psychotic. I bet it'll be fine. You know what I mean? Like, no, you need to, you need to listen to those intuitive hunches. You really do. Um, I want you to know, though, I want you to know if you're dealing with a stalker, this, this is coming to a close. So it's messy and chaotic and upsetting right now because you're at the final stages of this battle. You know what I mean? This karmic is starting to get bored because they're a succubus or an incubus. And they thrive off drama. They thrive off people's pain. This is a fucking psychopath. And they do not like 
that they don't have control anymore. They just want your money. They want your control. They want the power. This karmic is delusional. This karmic is absolutely psychotic. So please be aware of that. Um, but I just want to say, like, don't cave in. You know what I mean? I know, I know, like, most of you aren't caving in. Like, you would never, there's nothing that would ever make you want to go back to this karmic. But I'm just saying, like, I feel like some of you are just tired yourselves. Like, you're, like, depressed or whatever. And it's like, don't worry. Like, this this battle is coming to an end. They, they're, they're not letting you know that. Like, the karmic is crying. The karmic is exhausted. The karmic, and they're not crying out of love. They're not crying because they miss you. They're crying because they want to control you. They want the power. They want your money. They wanted, some of them wanted revenge on you. Some of them wanted to ruin your life and they're pissed off that they don't get to ruin your life now. They're pissed off that they have to watch you be happy with somebody else. Um, it's just, th this person's too much of a psychopath to be even capable of real love. So don't for a second think that this has anything to do with love. This has nothing to do with love, nothing to do with romance. It's not like that. It's it's all about power, control, money, um, you know, illusion, appearances, but, but yeah, please intuitively do what you're guided to do. You really, you really need to listen to your spirit guides because I'm getting that some of you are, are getting that intuitive nudge and you're like busy or you're procrastinating. Like, no, you need to, you need to put your social media uh, profile on private if you've been led to do that. You know, it's that kind of thing where it's like, you really need to listen to your spirit guides because they're going to protect you. You know, they are protecting you, but you have to listen to them. Like, that's how, that's part of how they protect you is they say, hey, don't go to this sketchy location at this time. Don't go meet this random person for coffee when you feel off about it. Don't, don't, you know what I mean? Like, they're trying to talk to you. You need to listen to them. You need to, you need to take their advice. Some of you do need to get weapons. Some of you, this karmic is a fucking psycho. Some of you actually literally need to get, like, a weapon or, like, a knife or something. Um, and you really need to protect your location, you know, but I want to say you are on the right path. So keep doing what you've been doing, but just amp up the protection a little bit just because you're in the final stages of this battle. So, you know, better to be safe than sorry. Might as well amp up your protection a little bit. You know what I mean? Spiritually, the karmic can't do shit. She's been stripped of her power, so she can't hex you. She can't hex your person. She can't spiritually. She can't do anything. She's she could she could have a voodoo doll that she fucking screams at and stabs every single day of the two of you, and it's not doing jack shit to either of you. In fact, as I've gone over in my recent um, third party videos, all that energy is actually being transmuted into blessings for you and your person. So the more she hexes, the more you guys are going to be blessed. Your spirit guides are pretty much trolling the karmic and making her watch you guys have the blessings that she's just. She's probably not going to ever have those. I mean, she had a chance to with someone else, but I feel like that person's leaving her now too because they're tired of her shit too. Like, she's doing this to herself. This is all her. This is all Eight of Swords energy. She's she's wanting to play the victim, and she's, she's the only one that's the cause of her own suffering, you know, because she has a life somewhere else, but... But yeah, a lot of these karmics are just absolute psychos and they're in this like, fuck it, I have nothing left to lose anyway mindset. So you really need to watch yourself right now, especially physically. Um, watch your money, your assets, everything. Like some of them are still wanting to, they're still trying to screw your life up. But, but like I said, the divine is protecting you, but you have to listen to them. You know what I mean? Some of you like to brush it off and you like to be like, oh, I bet she's not that psychotic. She wouldn't do that. She wouldn't steal all my money. No, these bitches would. Psychopaths would. They don't give a shit. They'll steal your money. Like, psychopaths don't feel anything for anyone but themselves. You know, like, this this woman, or these, these, these karmics, they probably care about their kids, but that's it. They care about themselves and their kids. They don't give a shit about their parents. They don't give a shit about their cousins, their friends. They don't give a shit about anyone but themselves and their kid or their kids. That's it. Um... So yeah, be mindful. Some of them, like I said, some of them are going to try to use the, guilt, the kids to guilt trip you on Halloween and you need to be stronger than that. You need to be logical and you need to be like, fuck you, bitch. I don't care. <laughs> like you, you did the, you did the right thing walking away. Um, so don't let them use kids against you. You need to be smarter than that and see through that. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, but yeah, just listen to your intuition. It's like listen to those intuitive nudges that tell you not to go to that place at that time or to, to, that tell you to, to do certain things to protect yourselves, you know. 
Like if you've been looking at knives or something on Amazon, just go ahead and make that purchase. Don't don't put it off. Don't be like, oh, maybe next paycheck. No, just buy the damn knife, you know? Um, and just carry it in your boot or something or your your um, whatever you wear, jacket, shoes, whatever, you know? Um, pepper spray, you know? You can have like a little pepper spray keychain. Some of them look cute. Some of them, there's like pepper sprays that are like, like look like lipstick or something that you can just put on your keychain, you know, and people don't even know it's pepper spray. So, but I want to also say that you guys, I know some of you guys are feeling exhausted, but you need to know that the karmic is even more exhausted than you are. They, the karmic is exhausted. The karmic is depressed. The karmic is getting bored because he or she is not getting the attention and drama that they're seeking from you anymore. Like, you're not going back into that. So they're starting to get bored with this. But they're kind of at this, like, it's like rock bottom, like, ten of swords energy where they're like, fuck it. Like, I have nothing left to lose. So I might as well give this, give this my all for a couple more weeks. Um, but yeah, you, you are winning this battle. I just want you guys to know that because the karmic is trying to make you guys think that he or she is going to be able to do this for months and months and that they're never going away, but it's not the case. The karmic doesn't have much energy left. They're being stripped of their, they've already been stripped of their power. Now they're being stripped of their energy and they're kind of doing it to themselves. It's, it's their own bad karma. It's like they're on the, and they're, they're in this cycle of bad karma, this, this loop. And they're just, they're hurting themselves more and more. The more they come at you, the more they try to find loopholes, the more they try to come, keep doing this shit, the more they're going to screw themselves up. The more the divine is going to attack them. Um, like there is divine intervention like I've never even experienced before. This this divine intervention is like it's amazing. It's like you guys are good, you know, you're solid. But but yeah, you know, listen to those intuitive nudges to protect yourself. Be logical, be mindful, you know, be be wary of your environment. Make sure your address make sure you you know, you protect your address, your phone number, keep the locks on the doors, on the windows. Um what else was I going to say about this? Oh, yeah, but it's like, okay, so this karmic wants you to think that they can do this forever. They can't. They're they're close to giving up, okay? You need to know that. This is just the final battle. So, yeah, it's stressful and messy and chaotic and depressing at times, but you need to stay strong and keep doing what you've been doing, which is blocking the karmic, uh, not, not going back to that energy, not entertaining their drama, not entertaining their crocodile tears, not not letting them throw themselves pity parties, not letting them drag you into drama or, you know, tell you there's an emergency and they have to come over and you have to come over or anything like that. Like you've been strong. You you haven't been you've been smarter. Finally, you've been more logical. Finally, you see through that. Now you haven't been going back to that energy. You see right through them. You understand how toxic they are. You understand how they gaslight you and other people in their lives. So you really have to keep being strong, you know, keep their number blocked, keep all their information blocked, no matter what they say, no matter what they do, because they will try everything. You have to keep all the, you know, you have to keep everything blocked and blocked and just let the chips fall where they may, because nothing is worth going back to this psycho. Let me tell you that this person would be a hundred times more abusive than they were before. They would be a hundred times more abusive than they were before. If they didn't hit you before, they would hit you now. Like, some of them want to rape you, and I hate to say that because I hate putting that out there. I know that's scary, but some of them fantasize about that. Some of them are so sick in the head that they actually think about that. So please, 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 I cannot stress this enough. Protect yourself. Protect yourself, okay? Do not ever go back to that. You would, If you even went to the house that they're living in or the apartment or wherever they're at, you wouldn't be safe. Like, you can't even be near them anymore. You literally cannot be near them. It is not safe for you to be near them. You need to be smart, okay? Um, but yeah, like I said, they're, you know, nothing is worth going back to them. So just let the chips fall where they may. What they don't want you to know is that they're going to give up soon. This is, like I said, this is the final battle. This is like the peak of the battle. So it's it's going to be the most stressful for everybody involved because it's that peak. You know what I mean? But what the karmic doesn't want you to know is that he or she is getting bored because they're not getting the attention and drama that they're seeking from you. They're not getting their psychic vampire and they're not getting the energy that they're seeking from you anymore. So they are starting to get bored. But at the same time, it's like they're going back and forth between being like bored and being like, okay, maybe this really isn't worth it anymore. Like my life is just kind of getting screwed up. They go back and forth between that energy, between like the boredom and like, eh, like, okay, this isn't really giving me the energy I want anymore. 
and the energy of, well, fuck it, I have nothing left to lose, so might as well go all out. You know, so keep, please, please, please keep doing what you're what you're doing. I know it's stressful, but you're doing the right thing by blocking them on social media, blocking their phone number, um, you know, changing your phone number if you need to, like not letting your address be public, not letting your friends have your like like being mindful of mutual friends having your address, even like being careful um, who you talk to, like. Like, continue to block them out, continue to shut them out, and continue to stay strong, and you're going to win this battle. You are winning this battle. You pretty much won this battle, but you just have to stay strong a bit longer here, okay? Because this person does not want you to heal. You could be a, a male or female. You know, there's no gender here. It's almost like you're in this vulnerable emotional energy where you're healing, and this person's like, oh, fuck, no, you don't. They're making a judgment call here. Where they, they think they think that they have the right to judge you. This person thinks that they're God. The sick thing is that this person doesn't even actually love you. This person just wants you to suffer. Like, this person is just a sick fuck. This person's a psychopath. You know, there's a strong message here too. Do not let them use the kids against you because they're going to try that and you need to be smarter than that. You know, you need to be smarter. You know better than that. I feel like you already know better. I feel like they've already tried it and you've already been like, yeah, and I don't think so, bitch. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's like they're making a judgment call and they're, they're an eight of swords energy. They're doing it to themselves. They're trying to play the victim. They're, they feel like they're a victim. They feel like how, how dare the divine not let me hex people that did nothing wrong? How dare they? Like the karmic's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> the karmic's like a whole nother level of delusional. Um... I just see this as someone is angry. Sometimes I'm intuitively led to, to look at the pictures of the cards instead of what they are. So, like, with these two cards, I'm looking at the characters. You know, I'm not looking at the traditional three of wands, two of wands. Although, you know, two of wands is about seeing things in, like, a long-term approach. So I could see how that comes into play here. But I'm looking at these energies here. Look at this. Both women are holding a skull here. They're, like, they're out for blood. Like, they're, like, fuck everything. Like, look at her. She looks like she's standing in electricity. What is that, like a spider to her right? I think that is a spider. Look at that. Look at that right. Wait, I can't even see where I'm pointing. I'm... <laughs> Sorry. Right there. That looks like a fucking spider, like a black widow. Look at look at the energy of these cards. You know? It's like they're both... It's kind of like someone that's like laughing to themselves. Like they're like, they're like on the floor drunk. Like crying and then they start laughing like a psychotic evil laugh like they're creepy like like I cannot stress this enough you cannot go to their house you cannot be anywhere near them physically you would not be safe okay let me I cannot stress that enough some of them I'm getting someone literally has a cage for you like I'm actually and this is just for one specific person this is not for everybody but some of you guys were like into bondage with this person and this person like you guys had like they had like ropes and stuff in their room. This is just for one person in this group, you know, so don't you know, don't take it if it doesn't resonate. This is for someone very specific. But I'm getting that like you guys were into bondage or something and like they have like like they bought a cage and they fantasize about putting you in it. Like this could be like. Like these karmics are psychos. I cannot stress this enough. Do not go anywhere near them physically. You need to keep yourself safe. You don't need to worry about the kids because even though they're psychos, they do love their children. So they are going to take care of their kids. Um, I mean, what I'm getting from this energy group and you can pray for your kids too. you know, pray for, pray for them to be protected. You know, there's, there's a lot of angels around them protecting them, but, but you did what you needed to do. So, you know, keep moving forward, keep, keep shutting them out, keep blocking them, keep going forward with your life. And they're going to get bored and they're going to give up, even though it doesn't seem like it right now. They really are closer than you realize to giving up. But yeah, look at this. Look at this energy. It's like, look at this psychotic fucking energy. It's like this karmic has nothing left to lose. She's like, fuck everybody. Like, I'll, I'll do what I want. Fuck everybody. You know, she's just like, she's a complete psycho. But you have your ten of pentacles coming in. You have abundance financially and they can't touch that. What they're trying to do, it's like you've wrapped up this cycle. There's the wheel, you know, the wheel has turned. Like you're, you've cut this red cord already. You wrapped up this cycle. This is also like a blessing for you. Like you deserve, you're finally getting on your destined path. You're finally using your intuition. You're finally 
being brave and assertive and moving forward with your life and shutting out toxic people. You're making really brave decisions, even if it feels lonely in the, in the moment. Like some of you are cutting out toxic family members as well. Like you're just like, you just want a clean slate and in life in general. And the universe is rewarding you for that with the 10 of pentacles. I, I see how, see how these red cords are kind of connected here too. It's like your 10 of pentacles has come in or it's coming in because of your bravery, because of your willingness to cut out toxic best friends, toxic ex-wives, ex-husbands toxic friends toxic family toxic toxic whoever like you know like you're getting your rewards because you know you're you're taking a leap of faith and you're moving towards your destiny and you're being strong and brave and you're starting a new life and you're keeping your shields up and you're finally being logical and using your intuition and keeping the karmic blocked and you're being rewarded for keeping the karmic blocked for doing what you need to do to protect yourself And I want you to say, I can't reiterate this enough, but the karmic is not a threat to your true love. Like your true love is safe. If you're worried about your true love, like they're good. Like they're, they're safe. They've always been safe from the karmic. Anything that they threaten to do to your person, they can't actually do. They've tried to do it and they can't actually do it. So you don't need to worry about it. Because if they could do what they're threatening to do, they would have done it already. Like, some of them are saying, oh, I'm going to find that bitch's house and I'm going to go blah, 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 blah. And, like, who is that psychotic and pathetic? Like, who actually does that? Like, can you imagine, like, you know, someone was asking the other day about, I had the karmic I'm dealing with asking the other day on my YouTube channel about, like, the differences between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. I'm like, that's one of the major differences. Like, a divine feminine would never in a million fucking years try to stalk someone that would not touch them with a 10-foot pole. Like, can you imagine, like, a divine feminine, like, trying to find, like, having a man choose someone else over them and, like, going and trying to find that girl? Like, that's going to make a difference? Like, no, he already told you he doesn't want you. Like, like, a divine feminine would just never. She respects herself too much. She loves herself too much. She knows what she deserves. She's not going to fight for anybody that doesn't want her. You know what I mean? Karmics don't give a shit. Like, they're... You know, it's like your person, for those that are still living together, it's like your person's literally trying to walk to the door and they've got a little child, like, literally grabbing their leg, crying, like, don't leave me. And it's just like, oh, ew. Like, girl, uh-uh. We don't do that here. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, like, I know, like, even as, like, divine feminines and masculines, like, yeah, when you love someone, you're gonna cry. You're gonna be hurt. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to be upset. You're going to you're gonna want them to stay. You're going to try to work through it. Like, like, yeah, it gets emotional and passionate. But, like, you would never, like, have someone literally walking towards the door saying, like, I'm sick of you. I hate you. I want to leave. And, like, grab onto their leg crying. You know what I mean? And, like, or trying to physically block the door or, like, hit them or punch them to leave. You know what I mean? That's, like, a drastically different energy than just, like, crying and being emotional with someone and, and telling them you want to work through it. You know what I mean? Because, like, if this person told you, like, oh, I don't want you, I'm done with you, you would be like, okay, like, you'd be hurt, but you wouldn't, like, if they said that, you know what I mean, like, like, you would, you would understand, like, you would be heartbroken, you would try possibly to figure it out, but the karmics don't give a shit what the masculine or, or feminine say, like, or, you know, the karmics, like, you can tell them you wouldn't, you wouldn't touch them with a 10 foot pole and you find them disgusting, they don't, they don't give a shit, they're just in there, they're that delusional, they're that out of touch with reality. But, um, but like I said, you guys need to stay strong because this really is coming to an end sooner than you think. Um, they, the karmic really is giving up. Like they have nothing left to pull on. So they're trying to pull on whatever else they can, but you need to just let them, you need to keep doing what you've been doing and be like, you know what, bitch, spread the rumors, do it, do it, do what you want to do. There is nothing, there is nothing in the world worth going back to this person for. And if you can stay strong and keep up this energy of being intuitive and logical and protecting yourself and blocking the karmic out and moving forward with your life far away from the karmic, then you're going to win this battle and you're going to finally be free of the psycho. So, so stay strong. Protect yourself at the same time. Like I was saying, you do have uh, financial blessings here with the Ten of Pentacles. That's like... You know, Ten is, is the final number in the minor arcana suite when it comes to Pentacles. So it's like, that's, that's like abundance. Like Ten of Pentacles is like, that's, that's new job, new career, money coming in, like everything. And you're being rewarded because you ended the cycle. Finally, you're, you're, 
You're trusting, your spirit guides have been trying to help you for so long and you're finally allowing them to help you. You're finally trusting your intuition and letting them in. And because you're doing that, you, you know, you, you have this new start. You have this new life. And this other person is trying to control this. They're trying to stop this new life from coming in. Again, it's just out of bitterness. They just don't want to see you have more than what they have. They know that they're never going to have the kind of abundance that you're going to have. And they wanted your money. For a lot of you, they wanted something from you, like money. Or they wanted, um, I'm seeing like jewelry for some. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe you have like an object that they wanted. Or like there was like a, maybe some of them were hoping that you'd put them in their will. Or that you'd give, like, the house to them or so something. Like, something really creepy. It's almost like... It's, it's it's kind of an icky energy. It's kind of creepy. But let me just... I cannot stress enough. You're not safe going near them. You have to... You know, you're doing the right thing by blocking them out. You have to keep moving forward. The hanged man, the world. The hanged man is all about letting go. It's about new perspective. Pausing, reflecting. It's like this person, it's it's like they're trying to control you, but you've already wrapped up this cycle. There's another card about wrapping cycles up, the world, completion. You've let go of this burden. You've let go of this karmic. And whether the karmic likes it or not, your your abundance is coming in here. Queen or King of Pentacles. You know, Ten of Wands is about letting go of a burden. You see all this fiery energy. It's like someone's letting go. Someone's had all this weight, like the weight of the world on their shoulders. And it's just weighed them down, but now they're letting it go. And they're moving forward and becoming the queen of pentacles or becoming the king of pentacles. This is who you're meant to be, male or female. You are meant to be the queen of pentacles you're, or the king of pentacles. You're meant to have it all. You're meant to have love and money and, and abundance. So keep keep letting go of the toxic people. Keep blocking them out. Keep protecting yourselves. Um, listen to your intuition. Keep moving forward. Be mindful of your environment, like I said. Um, and you are on the path to becoming the queen or king of pentacles. So it's really beautiful energy. Um, thank you guys for watching.